Hello everyone, White Witch 110 here. I was very pleased to receive this envelope today. Isn't that pretty? Love it. It is from Mike and Tam. Oh my gosh, look how gorgeous. I absolutely love vintage looking cards. Mm, Merry Christmas, much love, Tam. And Mike sent it. They're pretty. Oh my god, they're so pretty. <gasps> oh, be glitter greetings, definitely. Thank you so much, Mike and Tam absolutely love it this is one of the special cards definitely that will be going into this box at the end of the season for absolutely sure but until then this goes up on our wall thank you thank you thank you oh my gosh it's so pretty I'm going to go put this away so it, it doesn't get ruined. Be back in a sec. Okay, as you can see, I've started the craft for this evening. This will all come into play. I'm still debating on whether to cover this wire a bit more. I was trying to glue the lights, but they didn't adhere to the hanger very well. So, and this is the angel that was our tree topper she had a red I have it right here she had this around her but I decided to change it to some ribbon that my mom had and I added the small brick of rock down the middle of it this little blue jay actually is part of our village but when hubby knocked over one of the trees it came off and I thought be perfect she's looking at the bird so this way I get to use her and then we had these trees they're not supposed to have the white on it I just put the white on it now the paint that looks pretty. So I have two of those to put on. That was just like a aha moment. And of course, the two deer from the original centerpiece. I was going to put um, the fake snow that's uh, like a sheet with little speckles on it but I didn't have a piece that fit this that I could crumple up I had actually cut it in strips for some reason for last year's village I guess so I wasn't expecting that and then of course I have this to go around like that I was debating whether I should put more of it around this, but I'm not sure. Okay. So I painted the top and I placed, placed, I sprinkled my favorite glitter on it, of course, from the dollar store. So, the styrofoam's from work, the hangers from work, the lights are from last, last year, year before, dollar store, the trees are the dollar store, the deer are the dollar store, the paint, of course, the glitter, even the green that's going around, that's dollar store. She was from Canadian Tire, which is a store that sells tires. And a lot of home goods and like what, dishes, vacuum cleaners, all that stuff. 
toasters. And it also has sporting goods. It has paint. In the summer, it has a garden section. They have, you know, holiday things like for, for Christmas. They've got trees and blow up stuff and all that. All those decorations. And then at Halloween, they have all the decorations. The only thing they don't have, which they did at one time, was a small section for food. And it wasn't very much, but they've done away with that. So, it's Canada's Everything Store. I don't actually think that's what, what they call it, but something like that. So, I'm going to start with gluing these ones on. Whoa, we better get... Where'd it go? Oh, right in front of me. Right in front of me. So how was everybody's day? My day was pretty good. It wasn't too crazy. Some people, of course, weren't in to work. They started their holidays. And one of the clients, or one of the employees of the clients, one of the directors, I believe that's what her title would be, was very awesome she offered us a ride home tonight so we got a, a ride right to the door wow which we weren't expecting we were all ready to to take our little walk down to the down to the O train to get home and she comes this way so it was very very nice of her and one of the one of the other employees he is so funny he's he was joking the other day saying that we're bringing all this baked goods in to fatten them up secretly we are cannibals so today, when he seen us with with um, the the uh, woman, he started saying as he's walking into the parking lot, "I'm picturing this movie plot in my mind." You know, employee or was it two happy cleaners get a ride home with an employee. And the employee's never seen again, or something like that. So we had a good laugh. Now, oh, hmm. I see that what it was is that the lights didn't work anymore on her. And since it's the, it's one that we really do like. I did not want to throw her out. So what I did was I just took the, the lights out. We tried switching up the lights, changed every single bulb, but there was something wrong with the wiring. So they went in the trash. I just cut them off or cut the wires to get it out. That was no problem. Pick this up before the cat gets it. He's already been at some stuff one of the girls had put in uh, the parcel she gave us, the gift. I come home and there's the, the cell. Oops, he fell off. There's the cellophane underneath the tree. What a cat. Okay. Now, let's hope this will, that this will stay. The birdie fell off, but that's okay. I didn't exactly get you in the middle, did I? But that's probably a happy mistake. Well, that's what I'm calling it anyway. Okay, the bird fell off. 
Can your finger hold the bird? No, you definitely need to. Now, if I don't think this is going to work, I'll have to think of something else. So that's going to be together pretty quick. I hope you all took a peek at the one that I finished at work this morning. I did a really fast uh, vlog. And when I took it upstairs, one of the other directors seen it. She was saying how pretty it was, how cute it was. And that she had seen me putting putting the lights on it. I uh, thought that was kind of cute. I don't know. Should I put... Well, that's why I pictured it, but... I'm not sure now. Okay, stay there. So I was originally thinking... But that wouldn't have worked. That wouldn't have worked. So do I want to put them both on this side? Or do I want to put one on either side? You know what? I think I want to put them both on the same side. Both on the same side. Yeah, our building's kind of quiet, which is okay. And the little houses that I made, they look adorable on the tree. Adorable. They hit just the right spots that needed something. Now... I'm thinking. Hang on. Okay. Now this is what I was talking about. See a little bit of sparkle? Yeah. For some reason. I put it in a strip. And I've decided to put just a little bit of color. Little bit of color. Whoops right in here there we go this is coming this is almost 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 what i was thinking that is the secret Is the secret? Oh, I thought that was tape. Whoops. Yeah, I've been saying tonight. We must be the only people who bring stuff to work and then we take more home. I said, well, everything I've taken or brought home has ended up back here at work. So he was interested to see when I'm creating. I told me he'd have to wait. Yep, he's got to wait and see. <laughs> yeah. He's at the doctor's tomorrow to begin with. Whoops. Keep sticking. Look at it. It's because I'm not allowing it to dry. Which is what I'm good at doing. Okay, you need... You need some help there. Yes, you do. Yabba, yabba. I'm still not sure. I don't like 
all of, hey, get up in there. I don't like all that just blah. Blah? I don't like it like that. I need, I think I will. It's a good thing. Okay. We'll do this and, and see if I'm still going to keep it like that. Boy, they make these things long. So today we took two of the containers with my my cookies in them and then we also took the one with hubby's peanut butter cookies and they are in the secret room and I cheated I had one of my shortbreads I was hungry I think I had one I made them too. I'm so bad. So, so bad. That tastes good though. I didn't have any of his peanut butter cookies. None. I behaved myself with those. Oops. I guess I should have put this on before. I glued everything down. Hey, I'm going to go over there. All right. Where am I? Well, if you move, you moved a bit. It's okay. I got glue. I glue you back down. Whoops. Okay. We'll glue that back down. Now, in my head... I'm now seriously saying to myself, how are you getting this to work? Hmm. <laughs> well, it shouldn't be that difficult. Because the other ones I had were bigger than this. Like they were full on the size that you've seen of my uh, Halloween one, the Christmas one. So, this shouldn't be too difficult to take there. Très difficile. No. No, not difficile. Do any of you know now that I'm parler un peu français, do any of you know or have any of you seen La Machine? OMG. If you haven't, I advise you to look them up on Facebook. Without a doubt. I have two videos of La Machine when they were here in Ottawa in 2017 for our country's 150th birthday. And I had been watching them for two years on YouTube. Absolutely fascinated with them so so wanted them to come here when I found out that they were coming here I was ecstatic I waited all 2017 for July to get here so that I could see that in person so check out the two videos that I, I think one is a spider in the market and then the other one is uh, something a dragon I can't remember but it's Longma is the dragon and Kumo is the spider. There were more people here than anybody had seen in years. And down in the market, 
it was said that they were actually running, the restaurants were actually running out of food with the amount of people that were here to strictly to see this. Um, they since then have got a couple of new oh, magnificent, amazing structures, animated structures, animated characters. And I'm so hoping, because there have been rumors they're coming back, so I'm hoping maybe one of the new ones comes. Although I, I definitely love Longma, but I'd like to see one of the new ones here too. But definitely, if you get a chance, go check them out. That's La Machine. Okay, so I'm going to move out of here. This is what I have it sitting in <laughs> to tape it. There you go. Stand back. And now, oh my God, this is exactly what I wanted. Ta-da. Ah, oh, that is amazing. If I do say so myself. I'm extremely happy with that. Oh, this has to go on the main table. Definitely, this has to go on the main table. Holy mackerel. Oh, wow, if my mother could see this now, this would blow her away. Absolutely. And I was going to use acorn. Not acorn. Why do you call them acorn? Oh, they're stuck. I was going to, whoops, use these pine cones, but I'm glad I went with the, I'm so glad I went with that. I can't get over it. Those clear, those definitely made it. Definitely. There we go. Closer look. There's the little blue jay. There she is. Very pretty. And then, of course, the reindeer. Wow. I'm really, really happy. Yeah, it definitely needed that up there. Definitely. Okay, hang on. Okay, here's another item that my parents had. Isn't that beautiful? It was a candy dish. But then again, I'm also thinking because of the space here. No, I don't think. Well, you might have been able to put a cigarette in there, but who would want to? It's a candy dish. And there's the MT-71, whatever that means. I don't know. But I have that. I'm very, very happy I have this. Let me tell you. I don't know if that'll sit. Yeah. Move you up a little. Okay. Oop. Okay, so tonight I have a story. And it's called Three Teens. The small cottage had been rented out for years before it was abandoned. It now stood empty, set back from the water's edge. In its day, much happiness had abided there. Vandals had broken in before it was secured by plywood, by thick plywood. It was upsetting to see it in this state. Of course, now rumors circulated about it being haunted. The gentleman who boarded, it, who boarded it up spoke of seeing shadows inside the day he arrived to do the work. He believed kids were in the cottage, and he warned them to leave. When no one came out, he went in. Each room he entered was empty. But from the corner of his eye, there was movement. He spent a couple of minutes chasing shadows of people who weren't there. 
Feeling unnerved, he quickly comple completed his task and left. A trio of teens had heard the rumors and decided to investigate for themselves. Not being able to enter the cottage, they circled the outside. It had snowed the day before, and their boot prints were the only ones there. Having experienced nothing, they left. They were now more comfortable and made plans to return. The day they returned, a snowstorm had been forecast. Walking into the site from their car took only minutes. As the time passed, the snow came down. It accumulated quickly. The three teens pried open plywood on a window to get inside for cover. They located the fireplace and wood beside it. Long matches sat in a brass container to the side on the wall. Seconds later, there was a flash and the wood took to flame. Warmth began to fill the abandoned cottage. Outside, smoke billowed out the chimney. It wasn't long before the crunch of a footstep was heard. The three froze, knowing they were caught. They waited for the door to open or to see a foot come through their point of entry. Nothing. The crunching sound continued for 15 minutes, then the sound stopped. In the morning, there were indentations in the deep snow and no clue as to who had been the visitor. Word spread about the nighttime visitor. Two days later, a pair of hikers found themselves in the middle of a large system that came out of nowhere. Spying the cottage, they entered through the teen's opening. They started a fire for warmth and settled in for the night. It was 2 a.m. when the sound began, the crunch of snow underfoot. The hikers sat still in the bed, waiting for the visitor to show themselves, but no one entered. In the morning, they found indentations in the snow as well. Hikers gaining entry to the cottage all had the same experiences. The teens decided to take their chances and ventured back early one evening. Dressed warmly, they took a spot beside thick brush and waited. Nothing came. They talked about it on the way home. Each time the footsteps were heard, a fire had been lit in the fireplace. The following evening, they hid behind the same brush only after setting a fire in the fireplace. It was also decided that one of the three would stay inside. The other two sat patiently waiting. After about an hour, the footsteps began. The teen inside alerted the two, giving a whispered play-by-play -play as to where the steps were heard. When the noise had reached where they could see, they sat stunned and panicked. The legend stood before them, touching the cottage walls. Would it gain entry this time? Terrified for their friend, they tried to stay calm. Through the walkie-talkie, they explained what they were seeing. Their friend inside felt no comfort in this at all. When the figure had moved out of their view, they implored their friend to move quickly and to forget about the fireplace. The teen inside moved swiftly through the opening, opening end of the plywood and dashed over to them. It was only seconds before the legend reappeared from around the side of the cottage. The teen who'd been inside stifled a scream, placing a hand over the mouth. The mere thought of being so close to this creature nearly caused a fainting spell. The creature stood by the loosened plywood. It looked down then turned its head in their direction. They moved not a muscle, unsure of the next few moments. This had been a stupid idea. Taking their phone out, one of the teens was going to film this. Another of the three brought their hand to the phone, pointing out that the light of the screen may pull attention towards them. The last thing they wanted to happen they watched as the creature peeked inside from the loose plywood. One leg at a time, it made its way inside. This was a chance to leave, but the teen stayed put. 
Moments later, the smoke from the chimney has ceased, and the legend exited the cottage. He stared in their direction, letting out a horrible sound before moving away. Turning to leave, the teens are face to face with its mate. How long it had been there, they do not know. There is now a story of three teens who went into the woods and were lost. It is said that their spirits are seen at the cottage on snowy nights. Hikers spending an evening for rest have reported the sound of footsteps and laughter. What they don't know is that they live in eternity in another dimension. They visit ours when the atmosphere is right. So if you are at the cottage on a stormy night, listen to the wind and hear the voices from the portal. But be careful you don't join them. I'd like to thank you all for stepping by, stepping by, <laughs> coming through today. Uh, to my loyal subscribers, thank you very, very much. As I've said before, I thoroughly enjoy spending this time with you. And those of you that are just passing through, take some time to look at my other videos. If you like them, please give them a thumbs up. Share.